legs in a wide second position. We're gonna do a few roll downs. So if your hamstrings aren't warm, just bend your knees slightly. So tuck the chin into the chest, roll down. When you get to where you feel a stretch in your legs, hang out here, nod the head yes, shake the head no. Keep a very slight bend in your knees so we're not locking into our knees. We're just waking up the backs of the legs. Bend the knees nice and deep. And straighten the legs. Bend the knees nice and deep. And straighten the legs. Bend the knees slightly, a mini bend. Squeeze your glutes, suck in your stomach, and roll up the spine one vertebrae at a time. If that's too much for you and you have to use your hands to press up along your legs, that is also fine. Come into a nice, strong stance. Legs are straight, lower belly is pulled in to protect that low back. Let's roll down again. Chin tucks into the chest. One vertebrae at a time, rolling down through the spine. Your weight shifts forward into the balls of your feet a little bit. Hands come to the floor. Keep the knees bent just slightly. Feel the stretch in the back of the legs. Let's bend the knees nice and deep, dropping the, the booty down to the ground. And straighten. And bend the knees, dropping it straight down, dropping the tailbone straight down. And lift. Last one, bend. Waking up those inner thighs and straighten. Take a nice little tiny micro bend in the knees. Let's rock forward and back just a little to find your weight. So we're moving into the ball of the foot, into the heel, into the ball. Find center, feel the arch lift. Slowly straighten the legs. So think of lifting the tailbone up to the sky, straightening the backs of the legs. Nod the head, yes. Shake the head, no. Shimmy the shoulders. Let's walk your hands over to the right. Feeling a stretch all through the side, through the back, through the backs of the legs. Continuing to breathe. Walk your hands all the way over to the left. Notice how one leg might feel different than the other. Maybe the stretch behind the left leg is a little bit more intense. That's okay, totally normal, just breathe into it. Let's walk your hands to center. Try straightening the legs if they're not already by lifting the tailbone up to the sky. So instead of thinking of jamming your knees back, think of lifting the tailbone up to the sky. Now I'm going to place my left hand over to my right foot. So I'm twisting. Now I'm opening up the side here, the side of the shoulder, twisting into that shoulder. When you find your balance, we're gonna lift our right arm up to the sky. Think of reaching your head away from your tailbone. So elongating that spine, think of pressing the shoulder blades down the back away from your ears, opening up the chest to the side of the room, fingertips up to the sky. Exhale, lower that right arm down, but keep your left hand where it is. Place your right hand on top of your left and think about pressing or sliding that left hand back just slightly. It's not moving because your right hand is holding it down, but think of just sliding that left hand back and that increases a stretch and a pull in that outer edge of that shoulder. Breathe, hold. Exhale, relax. Walk your hands to center. Nod your head, yes. Shake your head, no. Let's walk our hands out in front of us so that the weight is in our hands. It's like, We've done this before, like a wide leg down dog. Feel a stretch in the back of the legs. Walk your hands back, keeping your hips center. Walk your hands out again until the weight is distributed into your hands and you can feel a stretch in the back of the legs. Breathe, lower belly pulls in against that spine and pulls your hips back over those feet. 
hang out here, nod the head yes, shake the head no. Let's take our right hand over to our left foot. So automatically I'm already feeling that stretch in the side of that right shoulder. Breathe into it. If this is too much for the backs of your legs, you're always welcome to bend them. Micro bend, we're not dropping our butt down, we're just taking the pressure and the stretch off the back of the legs. But if you can keep them straight, keep them straight. So my right hand is over to my left foot. I'm feeling a stretch already in the side of that shoulder. I'm gonna reach my left fingertips up to the sky, turning my chest over to the left. I'm reaching my head away from my tailbone, elongating that spine. Shoulder blades are pressed down the back, away from the ear. Inhale, twisting open. Exhale, lower that left hand. Place the left hand right on top of that right hand. Think of sliding the right hand back over to the right side, but not. So the left hand is putting enough pressure on the right hand that it's not able to move. And you're getting a nice stretch all through that side of the shoulder. Hold, pretend you're sliding, sliding, sliding. And exhale, release everything. Walk your hands to center. Nod the head, yes. Yeah. Shake the head, no. Shimmy the shoulders. Transfer your weight forward by walking your hands out just far enough that you're feeling a stretch in the back of your legs and the weight is in your hands. Exhale, walking the hands back. Let's do that one more time. Walking the hands out, weight is evenly distributed in between my hands. Now we're gonna lift our heels off the ground. So lift your heels off the ground. Now more weight is in my hands. Drop the heels down to the ground. Lift the heels off the ground. So I'm on my tippy toes. Exhale, lower the heels down to the ground. One more time, lift and lower. Walk the hands back. Let's take a bend, dropping the tailbone. Hang out here, shift right and left, moving the hips right and left, opening up those inner thighs, hip joints. Find stillness, straighten the tailbone up to the sky, walk your hands over to the right, bend into that right leg and straighten, bend and straighten. Now back leg bends, Feel that stretch along that right leg and straighten, bend the left leg. Again, feeling a nice stretch all through here. Everything we just opened, we're just expanding on that. One more time, bend into that back leg and straighten, walk the hands over to the left. Bend into the left leg and straighten. Bend into the left leg and straighten. Bend that right leg, shifting your weight over to the right. Feeling a stretch in the back of that left leg and straighten. Bend the leg. Again, feeling all that side body stretch that we just did. And straighten. Bend and straighten. Walk your hand center. Bend the knees slightly, micro bend. Tuck the tail, squeeze the glutes, lower belly in, rolling up through the spine. One vertebrae at a time. Roll those shoulders back. Let's walk our feet together. Let's give our legs a little shake, shoulders a little shake. Inhale, arms up, look up. Shoulders press down the back, palms of the hands touched. Exhale, lower the arms. Again, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, lower the arms. Good, let's make our way down to the mat. So we're gonna go on all fours. We've done this before. Hands are planted underneath our shoulders. Knees are stacked right underneath those hips. Let's do little shifts forward and back, warming up the wrists. My lower belly is pulling in against the spine, so it protects my low back. So keep rocking forward and back. Forward and back, good. Find stillness, now let's do some cat-cows. Inhale, curving through the spine. Exhale, arching through, lifting the chest. Exhale, curving through the spine, round through that back. And exhale, lift the chest. Do a few more on your own. Continuing to breathe. And 
find a nice flat back. We're going to take our right arm out to the side. We're going to weave it right underneath that left arm as we lower that right shoulder down to the mat, right ear down to the mat. Hang out here for a nice shoulder stretch. And pressing up with that left hand. Bring that right arm back out to the side. Twist, lift up to the sky. Exhale, lower the palm down to the floor. Let's let that left arm out to the side. Weave it underneath that right arm as we bring that left shoulder down to the mat, left ear down to the mat. Hang out here for a nice shoulder stretch. Pressing into that right hand as you lift your body up. Lift that left arm out to the side, twist it open up to the sky. Exhale, bring that arm flat down. Let's open our knees nice and wide, toes together, sit our butt back, find a nice child pose position. Forehead comes to the mat. Feel your hips sinking back down towards your heels. Breathe. Let's roll through the spine as we come to all fours. Let's make our way onto our backs. Feet planted on the mat. Lower your body down. Feel your back nice and flat. Rock your knees from side to side just to make sure the back is feeling pretty good. I'm just going to get into the low back a little bit and the glutes across that right foot over top that left knee. Pull that leg into your chest. Classic glute stretch. You should feel it in that right hip. Let's lift that left foot up to the ceiling. So I'm reaching my heel up to the ceiling. I'm pointing my toes. I'm bending the knee. Reach that heel up to the ceiling. Point the toes. Bend the knee. Do it a couple more times. Lift through the foot, point the toes, bend the knee. Pull that knee in a little bit more. Increase that stretch in that right side. Last one. Find stillness. Pull that knee in just a bit more. Increase that stretch. Now we're going to do a twist. So I'm going to lower that right foot down to the mat. So I'm rocking my whole lower body over to the floor. I'm keeping my upper body facing the ceiling. My arms are going out to the side and I'm looking over my right shoulder. And bring the legs back to center. Unravel the legs, windshield wipers back and forth, gently rocking the knees. Let's take that left ankle, cross it over our right knee. Pull that right knee into your chest. Again, you know the drill. If you're up here and you can't reach that leg, you're grabbing a strap, you're grabbing a towel, anything that allows your back to stay flat as you pull that leg into your chest. For those of us that are able to do this with ease, you can use your left elbow and press it into that left knee or thigh and that kind of externally rotates the hip a little bit more and increases the stretch. Pull that right knee into your chest a little bit more. And reach that right heel up to the ceiling. Point the toes, bend the knee. Reach the foot up, point the toes, bend the knees. Reach the heel up, point the toes, bend the knees. Reach the heel up. Point the toes, bend the knee, pull that knee in a little bit more. Let's do a couple more up to the ceiling. Last one, reach through the heel, point the toes, bend the knees. Good, pull that right knee into your chest a little bit more. Lower that left foot, that whole bottom half of your body over to the right. 
nice and slow. Feel that twist in that low back. Arms out to the side. Head glances over that left arm. Play here and breathe. back through the center, nice and controlled, unravel the legs, windshield wash with the knees right and left, neutralize that spine, plant the feet flat on the floor, we've got them about hip distance apart, hands are down by your sides, palms pressed into the floor. We're going to tuck our tailbone and lift our pelvis up off the floor, nice supported bridge. My shoulder blades are still tucked down away from the back, and if you do this correctly, you kind of feel a nice stretch in the neck and a little massage in your upper traps. And now we're gonna roll through the spine, one vertebrae at a time. So down, 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 lower belly. Last thing to arrive is your tailbone. Let's do that two more times. Tuck and lift the tailbone up, 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 pressing through the palms of the hands, relaxing the jaw. Shoulder blades are pressed on the ground and rolling through the spine, one vertebrae at a time, all the way down, feeling a nice stretch in our quads here. And again, tuck the tailbone, lift those hips up, let's squeeze the glutes a touch, lift our pelvis up a little bit more. Breathe. And tuck through the spine, one vertebrae at a time, all the way down. Let's pull our knees into our chest. Give them a little hug, rock side to side. Good. Let's take a nice butterfly position, so we get nice and tall on our sit bones, soles of the feet together, feel length in your spine. 15 minutes. 